Good afternoon, Gustavo Farel here, courtside, court number six. Back with you, Gary Mazaroff, Johnny Villatoro with our production desk. We will be playing the first of two semifinal matches, team competitions, USA, Costa Rica, men's open. Team USA, Jake Bredenbeck, Sam Bredenbeck from Marine on St. Croix, Minnesota, near Minneapolis. Costa Rica, Andres Acuña y Gabriel Garcia de San Jose. Campeones, medalla de oro este año en la competencia individual. Congratulations to Gabriel and Andres for defeating Team Canada in the finals of the individual competition, gold medal winners. Now that's all behind us, so now we're doing the team play. This is the seventh of eight days of streaming and of play here in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Just to inform our viewing public, in the first number two singles match, you need to win two of three as a team. The first match earlier today of number two singles, Charlie Pratt, Gabriel Garcia was won by Charlie Pratt in five sets. So Team USA has a 1-0 advantage. If Team USA wins this doubles match, they move on to the finals. If they do not, we will yet to see the singles match of the number one team, which would be Bredenbeck against Acuna. But right now we're playing some doubles. Jaime Martel from Mexico, the head referee, el árbitro principal de México, Chihuahua, México. Vamos, tres sets de cinco. Foto. Los jugadores listos para jugar. We are on this Pan Am Sports Channel. Facebook and YouTube. This match, match should be streaming live. We welcome your comments. And here we go. First service, Andres Acuña. Cero, cero. Piso. Por parte de Sam Bradenbeck. Uno, cero. Esta vez resultó en cambio de mano. Cambio de servidores. Primer servicio. Igual es uno, 1-1, one, one. Sam Bredenbeck serving. Ball short. Team USA needing this win to move on to the finals. Team Costa Rica needing it so that there will be another singles Competition between Bredenbeck, Jake, and Acuna. Screen serve called 2 1. Nick Lobb. Near side. Good hands. Garcia, iguales dos, 2-2. Two, two. Ball go live, going off the back wall. 
Nice hands. Acuña. Cambio de servidores. 3-2, Costa Rica. Buen servicio, buen retorno. Pared lateral enfrente de nosotros acá. All still live. Tiro en la esquina por parte de García. Derecha. 4-2. Ventaja Costa Rica. Muy buen toque de parte de Acuña en el frente de la cancha. Vidrio. Pared del frente. 5-2. Servicio interesante por parte de Acuña. Pegó el pie de Jake. 6-2. Y Costa Rica sigue demostrando... ¿Por qué ganó la medalla de oro en la competencia individual? Ventaja 7-2. 10 segundos para servir. Tiempo, Estados Unidos. Good timeout called by Sam Bredenbeck, Team USA. We'll stay here. One minute timeout per team, per game. We are in uh, Guatemala City, Guatemala. The seventh of eight days of streaming and play two days of team competition we will finish the semis tonight it is currently 5:15 mountain daylight standard time here in guatemala tomorrow we will have the finals of both the men's and the women's open team competition there's no uh, mixed play in this team competition strictly men and women separately on the court behind us we have Canada playing against Mexico in the other men's open doubles final and there earlier Hernandez defeated Kobe in the number two singles, meaning that if Mexico wins that doubles, they go to the finals. If not, then Montoya is going to have to play Murray for the finals of that semi. Ball cracked in the corner, not much could be done. Asking for uh, maintenance to come in. Very fast moving, all very talented athletes on this court and in all the courts. Play has been exceptional. We have 10 countries that are playing in this competition. We are down to the best four. Jammed at the feet. 8-3. Ball skipped. Side out, point USA, 4-8. Service Sam Bredenbeck going with a drive. Jam. 
serve near wall. Acuna responds with a pinch right side. Roll out, 4-9. Up top, up top. And Acuna buries it in the right corner. Cambio de servidores, punto, posible punto, número uno para el set. Costa Rica, 10-4. No. Votó dos veces, no llegó. Acuña, punto, Estados Unidos. Segundo servidor, Costa Rica, 5-10. 10-5. Wide angle, ángulo superior ahí, pegó del lado, de la lateral, lado derecho. Excelente punto por Sam Bradenbeck, serving 6-10. Lo agarró desprevisto y Sam uh, caught Gabe moving forward. Put the ball at his feet, wasn't able to respond with the racket. Ball live. Good return, it's a good save. Nicely done. Jacob set with that. Game one to Costa Rica. 11-7, nos quedamos acá dos minutos. Queremos agradecer a nuestros sponsors, como siempre, participando en este gran evento. Pan Am Sports Channel, transmitting live through the Pan Am Sports Channel. They're responsible for the Pan Am Games, the 41 Olympic organizations pertaining to Pan Am Sports in our North, Central, and South American countries here at the tournament we have 10 countries participating from Canada all the way down to Argentina and Chile the gearbox racquetball black ball Rafael Filippini and team for their continued efforts in promoting international racquetball providing the balls sponsoring their rackets as well, splathead.com, Joe Hall, thank you for the apparel, the shirts for the referees, and for many of our administrators here. Appreciate all the support you've given us. Sports Corp, Colorado Springs, Colorado, event management of sports and other businesses, other events. And of course, we want to thank our IRF management team, headed by Osvaldo Maggi, our president from Argentina, originally from Uruguay, and Mauro Grandio, and the whole staff, the tournament desk staff, and the referees from six different countries, 10 professional referees that are here, and always at all of our international racquetball events. Schedule for this year, World Seniors, National Masters combining efforts to play at the end of July in Chicago, Lombard, Illinois. End of August 23rd through the 31st, we will be World Championships in San Antonio. Here we go, game two. Sam Redden at back serving, 0-0. Zero, zero. Starts with a Z to the backhand. Andres hitting that corner 
exceptionally well. Not overpowering the ball. Cambio de servidor, primer servicio, 1-0, Costa Rica. Ambos equipos han jugado juntos ya un tiempo, pero el equipo de García y Acuña tiene un poco más de experiencia jugando como equipo. No, tres paredes. La bola tiene que votar primero. Antes de pegar la pared del costado para hacer un servicio legal. 2-0, segundo servicio. Pared de atrás. Pelota botó, pelota mojada. Tres cero, Costa Rica. García demostrando que sí comete errores, no había cometido ninguno hasta el momento. Punto Estados Unidos. 3-1. No fue un tiro de alto porcentaje por parte de García. Piso. 2-3. Team USA comes in to serve. See if he stays with that same. He doesn't. That was a legal serve. He was not in the drive service zone, just over it. He cannot step on that red line or any part of his body be over the plane of that red line and serve behind him. This being Sam. Quick hands, Jake. No, ball down. And we're all tied up here. Three, three. See if he stays with that same serve. Now he's legally able to serve behind him. It could be considered a screen. A screen has to have three components to it. One, it has to be close to the body of the server. The other one, the receiving player has to be in position. And the third one, their visibility of the ball has to be blocked for it to be considered a screen. Nice. Pinch by Acuña, back to taking the lead, 3-4. Very quick, interesting choice of shot. Almost caught them off guard. Front wall, back wall, front wall. Legal shot, 5-3. Ball short. Second serve. Ball up. Behind the back, Jake. Acuña has done that so well. Ha hecho tan bien ese tiro a la esquina. Le saca la velocidad. La pelota muere. Mucho que ver con la pelota gearbox. Como bota después de que pega la, la pared. 6-3. Piso, 
Straight up, straight down. Segundo servidor. 6-4. Pelota corta. Y de vuelta. Ambas esquinas. La está controlando Acuña. Desde este lado de la cancha. Siete sirviendo cuatro. Este servicio la idea es que apenas cruce... La corta, la raya del medio. Y la razón por qué es para que no entre en el área, el área protegida. El recibidor. Punto de Estados Unidos ahí. 5-7. Buen tiro de Acuña. Hasta que pidan que venga a mapear. Fue punto de Costa Rica. Segundo servidor ahora de Estados Unidos. Second server USA. First serve. 5-8. Safety hold up. We'll replay that for serve. Good hands, Acuna. It's a good call. Vision impaired there as the ball was coming at him through Acuna. Sam did not get a look, good look. Replay. Ball live at the feet of Garcia. Couldn't do anything with it. USA creeps back. Cleaning crew brought back in. One of the unfortunates of being and playing in a moist environment is that, and the diving and the shirts and all that being wet, is that there is continuous stoppage for the safety of the players so they're not slipping on subsequent points. During the rally, obviously, it must go on until it is finished. Up top. Sam in front of their opponents. Buries at front wall. Closing the gap here, Team USA, 7-8. Z, drive, and Jake pummels it into the left front corner. It does not come out bouncing. We're all tied up, eight. Might have been better served to let that ball go through and Let Sam take it off the wall. I think it had enough velocity to get there. Cambio. Servidor. Entra Costa Rica 9-8 a servir. Excelente tiro a la derecha, straight in, straight out, de los mejores. Jake estaba muy atrás. 
para poder responder y Sam del otro lado. Canta el score, árbitro, 10 segundos para poner la pelota en juego. Se puede cantar demora. Es 10 segundos para ambos. Tiempo de Estados Unidos. Vamos a un breve comercial. Estamos de vuelta en 30 segundos. And we're back live here, Gustavo Farel with production table, Johnny Villatoro. Gary Mazaroff is off until our next match, which has yet to been, be determined what it will be on this show court six, Guatemala City. Seventh of eight days of competition. We are in the team event portion of it. You are watching one of the semifinals, men's open doubles, Costa Rica, Estados Unidos, Costa Rica, USA. First game went to Costa Rica. Costa Rica, a point away of, from getting game two, serving at 10-8. Here we go. Short serve called. Each team has two unused appeals per game available to them. Important to use all those resources. One timeout per team. Ball skip is the call by Jaime Martel. Appealed by Costa Rica. They're reviewing it now on the VAR system we have, the video assist review here. The referee will determine whether his call stands or he will reverse his own call. This has eliminated the need for lines people. It's worked very well. Sistema VAR, como lo usan en deportes como el fútbol, ha trabajado muy bien en el racket. Bastante conclusivo. El árbitro puede, como saben, sabemos todos que el deporte es tan rápido y hay que cantar un score, una llamada en el momento. Esto ayuda a asegurar que lo que se cantó fue correcto. The VAR system assures that with almost 100% certainty, the call made was correct or reversed based on whatever the appeal was. It has uh, reduced the number of officials that we need coming to these events, which, like we all know, helps in terms of overall costs. So. And that was a lost appeal for Costa Rica. Center court set up. 11-9, unfortunate. Vamos a un breve comercial. Estamos de vuelta con ustedes en un minuto. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So 
It's gonna be fun. And we're back again here live in court number six, our main court here in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Game number three, USA, Costa Rica in our team competition. Two games to none right now, favor of Costa Rica, Acuna serving. Drives Z to the left side. Garcia quickly puts Costa Rica on the board on a pinch right side. 1-0. Earlier today, Charlie Pratt defeated Gabriel Garcia in the men's number two singles. Great get, Jake. Good shot, Sam backhand, cross court. We're all tied up 1-1. If Costa Rica should win this, then there will be a Jake Andres Acuna tie break singles match today, tonight. We'll replaying that ball, 1-1. One, one. And on the court behind us, there will be a tie break, a rematch of the finals in the individual competition of Montoya against Murray to determine who goes to the final between Canada and Mexico. Wow, unbelievable get. Ball hit off the frame by Acuna. Lucky bounce, sidewall glass, front wall rollout. A lot of redemption can take place in the upcoming matches. Following this one, we have the women's doubles, which will be streamed. USA, Argentina, exact repeat of what we saw yesterday team argentina winning in five over team usa at the women's nice pinch right corner and to show you how even these teams are and how competitively matched they are in the women's, which will take place after. If the Team USA wins, they would go to the finals. If Team Argentina wins, they go to the finals because each of the singles players, Mendes beat Lexi York, and uh, he would have to play Vargas if in fact Team USA beats 
Argentina in the doubles. 3-1 Costa Rica. Good shot, reverse pinch. Sam Bradenbeck. Replaying Sam saying that it would not have made the front wall. That's a judgment call. Official says it would have. They can appeal that. And they are going to appeal that. W was not an avoidable call. It was uh, will the ball make the front wall call. They're reviewing it now on the Sistema Bar. You're watching the replay. It's a tough, totally a, a judgment call on the part of the referee, Martel. Now, in a case like this, there could even be a, another appeal after this appeal is won or lost, quite possibly for an avoidable. Acuna could appeal that Bredenbeck was in his way based on what I saw on the footage. I don't think he would win that one, but multiple p appeals on a given call. So the appeal was not lost. Good appeal by USA. Point USA, 3-3. Three, three. Both very quick. And that is not convinced he could have gotten that. It looks certainly like he could have as quick as Sam responded, but he won't appeal it. And a wrap around serve to the Gabriel's forehand going away from him, causing an unforced error on his part. Going for that crack right over the red short line did not happen. Up top. Top again. So well he hits that pinch. Que bien que tira ese pinch a la esquina. Acuña lo ha usado in los tres sets. Se le fue por el lado derecho. Ángulo superior ahí. Ventaja Costa Rica. Cinco... So the scoring for the team play is really quite straightforward for those of you not familiar with it. You have a singles, a number one singles, a number two singles, and a doubles. And whichever team wins two of the three moves on. The four semifinalists right now in the men's. Costa Rica, United States, Canada, Mexico, and for certain, Mexico is going to have a number one singles playoff. The repeat of the gold medal match yesterday, Montoya Murray coming up on one of these courts. Probably not this court, though. Ball short. 
And here too, as I said, if Team Costa Rica continues and wins this doubles match, it would be 1-1 and Jake would play Acuna to determine the winner. Same thing that happened to Sam on that side of the court. Wide angle, got away from Garcia. We're all tied up. 5-5. Cinco, cinco. Balls down. Great diving gets from Jake and Sam was not able to get to it to return it to the back wall. Ventaja de nuevo, Costa Rica. Seis sirviendo cinco. Muy buen trabajo, el esfuerzo de toda la asociación guatemalteca. La atención al detalle. La comida aquí a mediodía para todos los árbitros oficiales. Atletas, si quisieran, en este complejo de racket. Excelente. Near side, de este lado, Nick o Chuca, como dicen los bolivianos. Se repite. Falta. Tenía la mano, la raqueta arriba, que es una de las formas que uno puede detener el servidor dentro de 10 segundos, que fue lo que sucedió. Techo. Casi. La quiere de vuelta esa, Gabriel, pero no. ¿Qué partido? 6-7. Cambian de lado el equipo americano, norteamericano. No fue un servicio muy efectivo. Punto de el retorno de Costa Rica y punto. Servicio Jake, segundo servidor, Estados Unidos. Seis sirviendo, ocho. Pelota corta. Segundo servicio. Pelota arriba. Suerte. Excelente. Get de Jake. Y justo en la esquinita del lado del vidrio. Aquí a mano izquierda frente a la cancha. No pudo llegar... Gabriel sí llegó, pero no pudo devolverla para, para afirmar un punto Costa Rica. Así que siete sirviendo ocho, seven serving eight. Team USA.
Tercer set. El cambio que hicieron de lado Jake y Sam. Les está funcionando por el momento 8-8. Buen pase por este lado izquierdo. El vidrio cerca aquí de nosotros. Seguimos. Ventaja y servicio ahora. Primer servidor Costa Rica, 9-8. No le gustó lo que cantó el árbitro. Lo va a apelar. La apelación. Cantó el árbitro. Pelota corta. Andrés está apelando. Que fue buena. Todavía le quedan las dos apelaciones. Fue el otro comentario que hizo. Voy a pedir que me lo aclaren acá. Repasando el video. Pelota corta, apelación usada. Segundo servicio. Pelota a la esquina izquierda. Una vez más piden que vengan a mapear. Estas demoras obviamente necesarias, pero sí afectan la fluidez del juego y la atención de nuestro público. Diez ocho. Posible primer punto para el set. Costa Rica. Pelota corta. Segundo servicio. Buen rally. Este juego, este partido se acabó. Ganadores Costa Rica en tres. Nos quedamos acá un minuto. Vamos a ver el replay. Este último punto que no llegó al final Sam. Sam did not get to that last shot. Point Costa Rica. Coming up next, exciting racquetball on the world stage. We have a repeat of what was yesterday's women's finals team usa against team argentina this in uh, team play now and if team argentina should win the doubles they move on to the finals of the team competition if team usa should win we have then as i believe the team usa having to play the singles, number one singles against number one Argentina.
with that, I'm going to leave you now. Gary Mazaroff, been a long day. This is Gustavo Farel, Johnny Villatoro. Estamos de vuelta en 10 minutos para comenzar esta final, esta semifinal de mujeres en competencia de equipo. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. <laughs>